Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Web on Sky. Today we will see how to develop a CS card add-on. If you are a developer and uh, have opportunity to work on CS card, then obviously you will need to develop your own or create your own add-ons in CS card so that you can modify or customize some features or modules of the CS card to match the requirement of your client or yourself so it is very easy to create a, an add-on in cs card and just you need to follow some steps to create a basic add-on in cs card so today i will show you a basic add-on how you can create it and later you can in, increase your functionality or features of your add-on uh, as per your requirement so as defined here there are two main folders in cs card app that is app and design these two folders are main folders all php files inside reside in app folder including xml which is used to create an add-on in cs card so all php files reside in the app folder and all design related like templates or html files reside in the design so we are not going in the design so we are going to create our basic add-on so we are going to use app folder and inside the app folder we will create a new folder with our add-on name here we are taking as first underscore add-on this will be the name of our add-on so we will create this folder inside app folder and then create a file add-on.xml inside this folder so along with this we will mention or specify some uh, like statements to define our add-ons like versions name id etc like this so what we are defining in in this image it is very blurry so here these are the fields that i have mentioned here so we have kept id as first add-on version 1.0 priority you can keep whatever you want position zero and auto install is for multi vendor and ultimate Now your basic add-on has been created and just you need to activate uh, by logging in the admin panel and go to manage add-ons section and you will just need to activate this add-on. Further to extend the functionality like modifying some of the functionality using existing hooks, you will need to create two more files inside first add-on folder that is func.php and init.php in this example i will show you to customize get, get underscore products hooks that is already available in cs card so i will modify the behavior of this hook and will add some more condition to filter the products so in the init.php we have written this code that is if if not defined bootstrap then die access denied else this is the register hooks and we are mentioning this get underscore products so this is the hook that we are going to uh, modify so whenever you are going to modify some features or, or behavior of some hook you can you will need to mention that in this function and then in the function.php that is func.php you will need to define your logic to modify that uh, the behavior so there is a pattern to to re to give the name of this function suppose we have function underscore then first add-on add this is the name of your add-on then underscore get underscore products this is the hook name and here we have the parameters that it uh, this hook supports 
so here you will need to write your uh, code to customize the query so in this line of code we are adding more condition to filter the products suppose like this uh, db underscore code and we are adding some more condition as and products dot company underscore id in dollar effective companies str suppose we are possibly can give some more uh, some uh, hard coded uh, ids of the company as well so here the company refers to the vendor ids so in cs card when you are working with multi vendor uh, a site and using the package of multi vendor cs card and uh, cs card uh, package you in the cs card vendors are referred as company company id so vendor id will be as company id so here we are trying to fetch all those products which are which belongs to these ids these vendor ids i mean so as i said here function name follows some pattern like fn underscore your add-on name then underscore the hook you are modifying this is the way to use hooks in your add-on first register it in init.php and then define function in the func function.php this way you can customize built-in query of functionality in cs card without touching core files and whenever a new update comes in cs card it and you update the cs card it will not harm or replace your modified code so this is the correct way to do modification in cs card so in this video i wanted to show you these all information and uh, hope it will be useful for you please uh, subscribe my channel if you find this video useful.